Yesterday are like really dry and bleeding. Today I thought I would show you guys kind of what we do to um, protect the underside of the RV from um, the cold. So this, today it's supposed to be I think a high of 17 degrees. Mama, are you cold, honey? Um, so last year was our first winter. Um, and we did like, we used that reflect, Reflectix, I think. I'll link it down in the description. Last year we used command strips and put it all the way around and it worked just fine. However, the wind ripped it off many times. We had to keep putting it back on. And when the water went down on it, it kind of started to destroy the outside. So uh, this year we made a blanket um, and I'll, we didn't record it because I wasn't doing a channel back then, so I didn't even think to, but we did take pictures, so I'm gonna insert those for you guys to see. But we we used these snap on. I think these are from like Shark Tank, um, but they're called like Easy Snaps, and again, I'll link them in the description. But I'm gonna take you guys around. So this is basically what it looks like. Um, we have it all the way around and it's not completely sealed in certain spots. We used a Velcro right here, you can see, um, but it doesn't hold very well. So that's not a permanent solution. That was kind of a weather got cold quick here. So we had to do something fast. But what we ended up doing was we bought a really big tarp. I think it was 20 by 40 and we matched it to the RV. And um, we did buy the heavy duty one so that um, it could withstand a little more rain and a little more wind. And then we cut it. It took us about a month to make this. We measured our holes here, which as you can see aren't perfect, but we cut the Reflectix, um, which I'll insert a picture of, but it's just that silver insulation. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. And then we, we cut the tarp a little bit bigger on each side to wrap it around. And then we used the metal tape that they use on like aluminum ducting, which you can see right here, um, because it can withstand heat and cool. So we taped that really, really well. And as you can see there, it's holding really well. And then we reinforced the corners with duct tape. And then we went through with a drill bit and we drilled, pre-drilled holes because this top part is kind of thick. So we pre-drilled holes and then we punched these through and then took our time going down and spacing them. I believe the instructions say you should space them about five inches apart. So we didn't measure, but we did our best um, just on the eye. So that's kind of what it ended up looking like. Now, this coming year, we are going to fix the edges, whether we have to do more snaps. So we have the open range, and I'll put the exact model in the description box, but this is a Four Seasons package, so it does have an insulated blanket underneath. Okay. Yeah, you can see right here, they just snap off. And then the underside 
has um, there's some heat going through the underside so it keeps it defrosted. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys was our insulation blanket. So this is the kitchen slide out. But we didn't insulate this because we have a dehumidifier in our main space that keeps the humidity down really, really well. But in our bedroom, it's freezing all the time. So I'm gonna show you guys over here kind of what we or what we did this year. We didn't have this last year and it was always wet in our cabinet above our bed. So this year we have some really low temps coming in these next couple days. I think on Friday, it's supposed to be a negative seven as a low Fahrenheit. So um, we did this blanket now. We did this kind of janky setup and this, this bladder is still out because we just put this up yesterday, but we wanted to make sure nothing fell. So we had the two by her, uh, the T posts there holding it. But what we did was we took some insulation. Our fa my father-in-law had extra insulation that was given to him. And we took that and we wrapped it the same way we did the skirting we did with the blanket or uh, the skirting we did with this insulation. We wrapped it around and duct taped it. And then we, my husband cut it so it would st stick up in there kind of stiff. As you can see there, um, it's not super beautiful, but then we did the same thing on the top. Um, and then we took, this is the Reflectix I was talking about that we wrapped inside the skirting here. And then this is the tape. And then we just sealed those and then we used a little piece of tarp to go under the top piece and over the Reflectix so no water would get in between there or ice or snow. And um, laid that down the sides. Now we can't see out our windows because this is our bedroom, this is our uh, bed actually. So there is a window on each side that we can't see out of, but my husband works nights and we usually sleep or he sleeps into the daylight. So we usually have our shades down anyway and we could technically cut like a hole, but we just decided we wanna keep it as warm in there as possible this year. And then we used this tape, excuse me, this, um, I'll, I'll link everything in the description, but this is the, um, what's that called? When they do like duct work for your AC and stuff, they use this to seal like the ducts and it can withstand really, really low temps and really, really uh, high temps. So we use that to kind of hold on to the blank on the top and the bottom, but we have the T-post there just for extra support. Last night was our first night, so we had temperatures I'll have to check, but I believe our temperatures were really, really low last night. I think it was like nine degrees and we had no condensation. And usually we have condensation at freezing. So at 32 degrees, we have water, a bead of water across the top of our cabinet. So we leave our cabinets open all the time and we leave our bedroom door open to get that humidifier or dehumidifier to um, handle that. This worked. And um, the reason I waited till today to do the video was to make sure that it worked before I shared what we did. And we're going to have um, some more snow coming in the next week. So we'll see how it does with the snow buildup on top. And I know this is a different type of tutorial when it comes to a DIY. So if you have any questions about how we did this or the products we used or the tools or anything like that, just leave me a comment down below and I will be happy to answer you and help you in any way that I can. my dog's names. This is Conky. He is our oldest. Well, he's been with us the longest. My husband had him before we even met for about a year. So he's been with us for the most of his life. Um, let me see Conky. Let me see that. He loves to play ball. He loves the snow. He loves the water. He is a
golden retriever and Rottweiler mix, but everyone thinks he's a black dog. And he's really beautiful and he loves to play. Ready? This is Peaches and Tinny. They are the same age they were born and, uh, in 2013. And she is the oldest. This little one is the Runt. She was actually my brother-in-law's dog um, when we first got them, but then we couldn't separate them. So, Tinny, Mama, come here, girls. So they have been with us for eight years. He has been with us 10. And then we rescued this big guy. We rescued this guy back in 2017. So he was about, they said, four to seven months when we got him, and he was only 27 pounds. He's now, he is now 155 pounds. Actually, I think he's lost a little bit, so I think he's like 145, but um, he, those two were kenneled together when we rescued them because we rescued Sadie, who is the little one, shortly after, and they are best friends. She bites his ankles constantly. He lays on top of her and squishes her. They have the cutest relationship, and she, we rest, so we've had him since May 2017, and we got her in November. 2017 she was 11 weeks old when we got her she actually almost died from her parvo her whole litter had it and she was the one they weren't sure was gonna make it hi sue hi sue, hi, sue. because she um wouldn't eat and drink on her own so it was very very sad but we waited the quarantine and she made it and she pulled through and we took her So he became my mom's dog, and when my mom moved up here, he kind of fell into our pack because she lived with us, and we kind of couldn't separate him. They all became friends, and he, he's about as old as, I think, so he was born, I believe, in 2012, and so he is nine, um, going on ten this next year, and he... He's the funniest dude. He's just so silly. Come here. Come here, sit. Can you sit? Can you sit? Easy, Brinkley. Come here. He is just such a cool dog, and he's a lover, and he, he hugs, and he plays so well. They all love each other so much. And he's really fast for his age, but he's a little heavy, so he, he goes a lot slower, but he's really smart. And um, we took him on and now we have a pack of six. They are all such good dogs, but we'll kind of go over um, more about them in the future. I just wanted to share who they were. All right, that's gonna be it guys. I am heading back inside, it is chilly. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I know this was kind of a random video, but with the temperatures getting like they are, not everybody lives in cold temps or um, has like the snow. Um, but if you do, it's kind of helpful to see what other people do and the temperatures that they have. So um, I just thought I would share that. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and let me know. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. So much love. Bye.